Good morning from the King of the Hammers. We are here with Jason and Chris with Wheelin' Wine and Whiskey Podcast to talk about the Rec Gear subscriber and Wheelin' Wine and Whiskey listener meet and greet trail ride that's happening later this morning. If you want to listen to their podcast to hear more about what our thoughts were on this, link will be in the description. First of all, I want to thank everybody here for following us. We have Wheeling Wine and Whiskey here as well. If you don't follow their podcast or if you're here because of their podcast, they're awesome. Best podcast to listen to while you're driving through the trails. That's what we do. We listen to it all the way out here. And we really thank all you guys for coming out and watching our YouTube channel. It means so much to us. It keeps us going and plan for this run. If we can just get through, have fun, help each other out, look out for everybody. And pick Yo, up right. Howdy, howdy, let's get ready! Yeah. Yeah. Super stoked, we have such a good turnout. I cannot wait to start this trail. turnout was absolutely insane we have so many buggies so many built rigs and they all came out just to hang out and we're hitting this trail and we've literally got it plugged from top to bottom and everyone's just fluidly coming through here this is awesome i just want to thank everyone who came out here and everyone who watches our videos it's super cool to see the support you guys give us and we are pumped like chocolate thunder all over. This guy in his rad Cherokee came through and got a little snagged up. When I told him to back up and hit it with some more pepper, that's when he let us know he had no reverse. I quickly let him know where we're going, we don't need reverse. Ammo Dog Off-Road hopped into action and snatched up my Factor 55 kinetic rope and started getting the both of us rigged up. 
The most important recovery tool you can have on your rig is a Warren Industries winch. The most convenient is a Factor 55 Kinetic. I like to use these as often as possible as they are like a rubber band so when you tug somebody out it stretches and doesn't jolt the driver or the car. Paired up with a Blackfish Fab Fabrication Ready Rope Holder makes simple recoveries super quick and easy. If you're looking for a setup like ours, we have you hooked up with links in the description. We got the Factor 55 rope, helping out on our sub run, got someone tied up in some rocks. This was super quick and easy to throw it on there, and it's super nice and gentle on the rig so you don't break them. We got Ammo Dog helping out on duty. We, we did it yesterday, but I'll do it again. I thought it was pretty cool, so I just got one. They deep guys? Yeah. <laughs> Lee with the save. Yeah. Okay. So what we got? Them trash bags, they work good. Oh no. No tea, no tea. Southwest Crawlers, what's up? Woo! Got a little Havasu tow guy here working it on through. What's up, buddy? Sneaky beer. Woo. We'll grab that. Hey, we'll get that. We don't have any sackage in the rig, but we'll put it in there anyways. Don't leave your trash on the trail. Pick it up. Wreck gear. That's a wrap for the Wheel and Wine and Whiskey and Wrecked Gear Meet and Greet. I can't tell you guys how much it means to us that you guys have subscribed to our channel and you guys go out of your way to come meet and wheel with us. We counted over 60 rigs and close to 200 people on the trail today. The best part was every single person out here was amazing. Picking up trash, helping spot each other, getting each other through the trail. Although most of us have never met before, you would have never known it. After our sub run, Lee with the YouTube channel Ammo Dog Off Road invited us to run Sledgehammer, a trail we haven't done before, so you know we were down. Only thing is, he had one stipulation. I wasn't allowed to drive. You saw the sign? We're gonna go hit Sledgehammer. We got Ammo Dog, he's taking us out on Sledge with some of his guys from Cali. We're looking to have some fun and check off another trail off the bucket list. Yeah, KOA's 2023. All right, that's right. We're out here on Sledge. We're out here with Ammo Dog. And guess who's walking and holding the camera? It's not Jess, it's me. And if you want to know why, it's because she's driving. Look out. We just ran into John Martinson, snow wheeling Fiat God himself. Right on. Oh yeah. See you brother, have fun. Oh yeah, have fun going up. All right.
If you thought that Jess was driving, she would take all the easy lines. Well, think again. We just got to the first big bonus obstacle, and she's heading right for it. All right, there you go. Now turn into it. Nice and easy on the gas. Little passenger. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Now turn driver up front. Front. Perfect. Now straighten it all out. Straighten it out. Straighten out. guys these guys are doing some really sketch stuff I mean I'd go down it but not one of those things these look like rent me razors so if you ever go out there and you get a pounded side by side when you're renting one and you're like man what did these go through because it's the people like these that rent them and then they're like we're gonna go down the gnarliest thing and hope not to die and now there's like five people on a rope and a razor that's about to front flip off this it's pretty sketchy but we're gonna watch we're gonna find out what happens fyi lesson of the day never ever hold on to a rope on a vehicle because if a vehicle goes over it weighs way more than you and you will catapult down something and with your body and no roll cage it could really hurt you so this is actually not a very good move they're in a bad situation, so I get they're doing what they can, but someone could seriously get hurt here. But, uh, oh my god. See, watch, watch this guy. This is good. All right, boys. Drop your drawers, I need an underwear check. I bet you there's skid marks for days. <laughs> that was three hours, three or four hours. Shoo! That was sketchy. some rough trails but these guys are racing any line that they can get up so it's kind of cool we're off on the sidelines and when we're off on the sidelines doing the gnarly stuff you'll see these guys blazing which that stuff's not easy but they're they're going like they're full throttle getting through it it's pretty cool it's fun because as we're coming up we get about a show of the racers hauling here it's pretty rowdy you can treat it like a jungle gym <laughs> there you go, there you go. Just like that. We were super lucky to meet Colton today. He's been going to the King of the Hammers since he was four and wanted to go for a ride. I figured I've only been here two years so I could use a good co-driver like him to help me get around the trail.
So what we have here is we got some racers behind us who are waiting to come up. They're all pre-running for the King of the Hammers race, which is awesome. We've got a UTV up here. He hit it with all the ponies. We got shots of them, but he broke all four axles because this thing is washed out. It's pretty wild, so we're just helping trying to get them off the trail so they can get back and fix it up and get back to pre-running. It's kind of like the bonus of being out here and trail wheeling is you get to trail wheel, and then after you're done trail wheeling, you know, like we're halfway through, you stop, you help these guys out, get them ready for race day, and then we're out here wheeling the trails, having fun. It's perfect. All right, we're out here on the trail, and we're gonna go ahead and help out Crown Racing, get to the bottom. Broken axle shafts, we're gonna get them back out on the trail. Here's a side-by-side -side that knows what they're doing. The driver is Paul Wolf. He won the shootout last year and this year. He does the UTV race as well as the 4400 King of the Hammers race. The two other Ultra 4 cars are Big B Motorsports. Both cars are top contenders every year at the Hammers repping for us straight axle wheelers. Before I took off down the trail, I asked Colton if he was cool navigating me off the trail and keeping an eye on Paul as we drove him to a better pickup point. Of course, Colton had my back. This is the second time the Factor 55 Kinetic Rope and ready rope holder for Blackfish Fabrication has come in clutch today. You can really see how the kinetic rope makes pulling much more comfortable for the drivers and not so hard on the rigs due to them stretching like a rubber band and absorbing the shock. Caught back up with the group and it got dark and extremely windy on us real fast. So we hurried up, finished the trail because we had to pack up and leave first thing in the morning to head home. Would you like to use our bag? Yeah, I'm just gonna collect it. Yeah, you got it. Yep. Thank you for cleaning up the trail, man. We appreciate that. Can I uh, put that glass bottle in there? Sure can. Dude, I go to Yosemite every year and I carry a 45 gallon bag with me. Yeah. Guess what the number one thing is I pick up? Glass bottles? That little sticker off an apple, that little barcode. I got oh, 50, no way. 54 of those. They're not going to evaporate. Yeah. Holy it's a cow. national park. Yeah. 54 of those little stickers. Just the way we started the trip, we planned on ending it at back door. We showed up and the Arizona Undertakers were just lining up. These guys are legends, breaking most of the hardcore Arizona trails back in the day. And one of my biggest inspirations is I grew in the sport. These guys were rowdy before it was even a thing.
That wasn't nearly enough fanfare. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we got Jonathan out here with us. And uh, he's got this really cool rear steer bug. It's an S and N fab chassis. This is our buddy Jonathan. He's got to hit back door. Yeah, buddy. Jonathan is a huge supporter of the channel, and it's finally nice to actually meet him. You can thank him for any and all 360 footage you see in our videos. He's legit just put this rear steer setup in his buggy, and this is his first trip shaking it down. Leave it to me to take my buddy to one of the gnarliest obstacles out here for a shakedown run, breaking the teeth out of his rear axle. The irony is, he's a dentist, so I have full faith he will have those teeth looking pretty and out on the hammer's trail in no time. Ouch! I'm not crying yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is. He's crying up inside. <laughs> this is like day one. <laughs> I might put the session to a honey song. I'm gonna let you hear him just to pull you on. Sponsored in part by BF Goodrich Tires, Warren Industries, KC Highlights, and Axle Off-Road Helmets. Best way to support this channel is give that subscribe button a little skiddly do, diddle that notification bell, give this video the fat finger, and leave a dirty little comment below. As always, thanks for watching.